a lot of the indicators with inappropriate uh, internet use or computer use or anything else doesn't necessarily, uh, it might not necessarily be the computer. It could be something else. It could be drugs. It could be an inappropriate, um, for lack of a better word, manual relationship with somebody who's got involved with somebody maybe they shouldn't or, or, or whatnot. A change of friends, peers, kids that are not neighborhood kids that they haven't seen before or don't know coming around or not coming around but calling the house or coming by to pick their son or daughter up. It's often another reflection that something is going on. Suddenly the child who was going out and seeing friends and playing and everything else all of a sudden comes home and now he's just absolutely focused on that computer and he wants to be private, wants to be by himself, you know, so all of a sudden he's, he's got his laptop that, you know, used to sit at the, uh, at the table and, you know, bang away at the homework and maybe look at a little internet or play an online game. All of a sudden now he's in his room and, and for long periods of time um, we've found problems, generally speaking, the parent will always describe, oh, I don't know what's wrong with him, he's in there for hours and hours and hours, days, he even eats in his room and he's on the internet. And generally speaking, you're going to see the child's behavior change and, and dramatically in a very short period of time. Or a change in their behavior from one of being a bright, open, very uh, verbal child to one who's more sullen and uh, restrictive and somewhat avoidant of the parents. You get an idea of, you know, when, when your child is trying not to communicate with you. Uh, one of the things to be careful of um, is, uh, is contacts outside of, you know, you're looking at your phone bill all of a sudden and uh, you know, why am I getting phone calls from North Carolina or, you know, all of a sudden the new best friend is from, uh, well, he's from Jersey and we talk all the time. That's an indication of a problem. You really have to take a look at, too, is what the Internet has done to us uh, sociologically. You know, you have all of these friends, but are they really your friends? You don't know what they look like, most of them. You've never met them. You talk to them and some of these people aren't their age, their sex their ethnicity, they're playing. It's a role play. Um, another item is uh, you see packages coming to the house from, you know, Sally, Billy, or Susie's new best friend in, in Hawaii or something, you know. Um, you know, over the years we've had all kinds of things shipped through the mail, bus tickets, um, you know, calling cards, cell phones, money, uh, lingerie, you wouldn't believe. So you see something come from out of state, you need to, you know, check with your child, you know, who is this for real? Is this really your best friend, you know? Uh, generally speaking, not. And what happens is, is that your life skills become stunted in not dealing with real people. You know, there's something to be said about a hug and there's something to be said about shaking hands and there's a lot to be said about having conversation with people and looking them in the eye. I see a whole generation of kids that can't do this. So, I mean, they can work a keyboard like a ring and a bell, but they can't do a lot of very interesting social things. They have a hard time buying a sandwich in a deli. They have a hard time taking care of themselves, like getting books for college or getting supplies for college that they're going to need when they're on their own in a way. Generally speaking, when we have a problem or when we encounter a problem in any one of those areas, it's because the parent isn't paying attention. He doesn't know what the child's doing. He isn't looking at the bills to see, oh, look, who used my credit card to go buy and what is this company from where and why is it in Canada? Or, uh, you know, why, w when did I start buying things on eBay? Actually, you'd be surprised how many people will tell you that use credit cards on a regular basis, um, have no idea what's inside that bill, and all of a sudden the child gets a hold of the credit card and, you know, off they go. It's available. You're able to get things. And the Internet has made everything available. Um, my, my partner in my, in my practice says all the time, it's too much information. Too much information is out there. And, Kids are very good with computers. They've been taught young people today from kindergarten on how to use them. And um, the Internet is, uh, is very available and it's, it's very easy to, to get the drugs that way. And so that's number one, is absolute awareness of, of what, you know, pay attention to what your child is doing. And you need a credit card and a, and a, and a web address and you're in business. Uh, if it was a local thing, it was reported to us that children are doing this, we'd obviously conduct an investigation, try to determine where the drugs were coming from, what the vehicle was, maybe contact the credit card company and see what we could do proactively to terminate it, and then, you know, obviously go talk to the child. Because a child, you know, first you, you learn what you live, and then you live what you've learned. So 
children learn from being around their parents and what their parents' real values and attitudes towards these, these issues are, are easily conveyed. There are no secrets in a family. And we do see a little bit of an uptick where, you know, kids are going out there online and even with stolen credit cards or, or, or some form of credit card will go out there and purchase, you know, drugs online from, from some of these uh, Canadian pharmacies that are out there, or pharmacies overseas. There's a great deal of them out there that have, you know, sent out spam email and, and whatnot. And uh, not all of them are reputable. I mean, you know, they'll say, okay, you got to hand me a prescription. But, I mean, it could be a handwritten note on white paper, and they'll, they'll accept that. So we see a little, I see a little bit of that. I also see a, um, a, a more of an uptick of people using the Internet in these different mediums to find drugs, you know, marijuana and Craigslist and whatnot. And we, see, we see quite a bit of that. Statistically, they say that parents have the most important um, influence on a child in terms of their use of substances or alcohol in the future. We need the parents to be the eyes and ears uh, out on the internet to go out there and, and tell us when they see inappropriate things. Um, we're always shocked by how many times that a parent will see something or something is reported to them by the child and it's not up channel to us or even that, that the child and we kind of understand with the child the child doesn't want to you know I'm the one that's going to get in trouble is the thing we hear always from the child. But what we're trying to do is go out, um, we have a program, we go out in the schools, we, we talk at assemblies, um, um, getting out to about 75,000 kids and it actually works and we encourage them, look, you can't tell a parent, bring it to a teacher, bring, call the police, report it anonymously online to the National Senate, just get the information out there so that we can go out there and address it. And that's one of the wonderful things about a proactive unit, we can do that, but we need to know what the problem is and we need to know where to look. If parents limit the number that they have in the house, Keep down um, how, many, how much access a kid has to it every day. Keep it in a central location where you can see what it is that your child is doing on it, especially with um, younger adolescents at 12 and 13 and 14 years old, so that you can at least in your own home have some observation and have some control over what it is that happens with it. Probably the biggest thing in any venue, whether it be you know, buying drugs online, uh, inappropriate use of, um, you know, the auction sites, the eBay, copyright things, and the drug problem is, is awareness. You need to know what your child's doing out there online.